Gator Baseball hosted number 22 Auburn last night to start its three-game series. Welcome back to sports, I'm Michaela Della Spara. The big talk of the town last night was not only postseason play, but also the MLB draft. And good news for some Gators, three are going to the pros. The first player to go was Jonathan India. He was picked fifth overall by the Cincinnati Reds in the first round. In the regular season, the Gator third baseman had 17 homers, 42 RBIs, and scored 57 runs. And two more Florida players were drafted as well, and to the same team. Brady Singer and Jackson Coar, both pitchers for the Gators, were drafted by the Kansas City Royals. Singer was eighth overall pick, while Coar was the 33rd pick. And switching over to Gator football, head coach Dan Mullen picked up a nice addition to the 2019 roster. Four-star defensive tackle Jalen Humphreys from Lawrenceville, Georgia, officially committed to the Swamp. This was a tweet he posted today to announce it. The Gators are getting a big presence up front. Humphreys is listed at 6 foot 5, 305 pounds. And in the NHL, Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Finals took place last night in Washington. The Washington Capitals defeated the Vegas Golden Knights 6-2. After dropping Game 1, the Capitals currently lead the series 3-1. The Florida Gator baseball team will get a break from being on the road. The Gators are set to host an NCAA regional this weekend. Here's a look at Friday's matchups. Jacksonville, FAU, and Columbia join the Gators in the Gainesville Regional. Beginning Friday, Florida will be playing Columbia at noon, and Jacksonville will go against FAU at 6.30. FAU lost earlier this season to Florida. However, Florida Atlantic head coach John McCormick says he wants to focus on his own team and not the competition. I don't think it's so much about your opponent this time of year as it is about you um, being healthy and making sure that, you know, guys are, are doing the right thing in terms of the roles that they're in. In the NBA, the Orlando Magic hired former Hornets coach Steve Clifford as their new head coach today. Clifford will become the Magic's fifth coach since the start of the 2014-2015 season. The NBA Finals will end this pro basketball season, and it seems like deja vu all over again. The Cleveland Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors face off starting tomorrow night. Both teams needed two consecutive wins to close out their conference final series. The Cavs won Game 7 on Sunday against the Celtics, 87-79. The Warriors then finished off its series on Tuesday in Game 7 against the Rockets, winning 101-92. It will be the fourth straight year that the Cavs and Warriors play in the NBA Finals. A year ago, the Warriors won the championship in five games. Now, it's time to see if they can do it again. The Vegas Golden Knights will host the Washington Capitals in Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Finals. The Golden Knights defeated the Capitals in a competitive 6-4 first game victory. Gators baseball earned their first shutout of the season 4-0 against UNF last night in Jacksonville. Freshman Butler had an outstanding night on the mound, retiring 18 of the 20 batters he faced. The Gators are back home tonight against UNF starting at 6. Now the latest NFL trade. The Kansas City Chiefs traded quarterback Alex Smith to the Washington Redskins. In return, the Chiefs will be getting a third round draft pick, as well as cornerback Kendall Fuller. Smith signed a contract which will guarantee him $71 million. This deal is considered official as of March 14th. It was a duel between the top two pitchers with Florida's Brady Singer and Auburn's Casey Mize. The Gators got an early start, scoring two runs in the first inning. Jonathan India launched his 14th homer of the season to give Florida an early lead. Pitcher Brady Singer was on fire, finishing with seven strong innings. He allowed just one run on four hits with eight strikeouts. Singer improved to 9-1 on the year. Singer's teammates also thought highly of his performance last night. They're both unbelievable pitchers, and now you get, like tonight it was a pitching duel, and it was the best I've seen so far. Florida continues its series against Auburn tonight. Game time is set for 6.30 at the MAC. After a bit of mid-season slump, the number five Florida softball team has been piling up win after win, and tonight they start a big SEC series with a top-notch LSU squad. Florida comes into the game as winner of eight straight. Seven of those wins have been against ranked teams. The game is also senior day for four Gators. Infielders Kaylee Cavistad, Janelle Wheaton, and Nicole DeWitt, along with pitcher Alessia Ocasio, will all be honored for their collegiate careers prior to the game. The Gators have been fantastic against ranked competition this season, with a solid 20-5 record. If you want to make it to KDC Shoal Presley Stadium for the game, get moving. First pitch is set for 530. 
Round one of last night's NFL draft was chock full of surprises, including a former Gator getting selected by Gainesville's closest NFL team. The Jacksonville Jaguars selected defensive lineman Taven Bryan with the 29th overall pick. The Wyoming native had a solid season for the Gators last year, totaling 40 tackles and four sacks in 11 games. Plenty of other Gators might be snagged by the NFL teams over the next two days. Cornerback Duke Dawson is projected to be taken in the middle rounds. Safety Marcel Harris and wide receiver Antonio Callaway are also possible day two picks. And here's something you don't see every day. Kicker Eddie Pinheiro has a chance of being drafted as a rare kicker selected. Punter Johnny Townsend will also wait patiently to see if his name is called at the podium. The Tampa Bay Lightning made it to the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs after a series win against the New Jersey Devils eliminating team in Game 5. Now they'll face the Boston Brooms with a home ice advantage in the series. Well, I always feel really inspired by the NFL draft. What other Gators do you think are going to be getting picked? I honestly think Dawson, Callaway. We just have to see. We also have to see with the kickers and the punters. You know, we have Townsend and Pinero, so we'll see. Well, I honestly think the more Gator names out there, the better. The more the merrier is what they I say. I agree, always. Well, thank you, Michaela.